up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Oscar Rivas versus Silveras Luis. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Rematch, by the way. It's a rematch. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't know, I honestly didn't know about this until just like 10 minutes ago. I was looking at the schedule and I was like, wait, hold up. Oscar Rivas is fighting tonight? And I, I looked it up, and he is fighting tonight in the rematch against Luis. Uh, they had the weigh-ins, as you guys can see. Both fighters look like they're in spectacular shape. Uh, Rivas weighing at 221.4 pounds, and Luis weighing at 203.8 pounds. So uh, almost 20 pounds lighter. Anyway, this fight's taking place over in Canada, over in Quebec City. Beautiful city, by the way. I visited a couple years ago. Would love to visit again once COVID's over. Man, Quebec brings back memories anyway um yeah fight will be available over here in the states on fight tv you can watch it here on fight tv if you go to the uh, official fight tv website uh, which is what we're looking at right now fight.tv go to boxing and uh, go to the scroll down to the events and you can watch it in french and as well as in english and click on which one you prefer uh the fight the event is six hours and 30 minutes away at the time of making this video starting at 7 p.m eastern time um, so, uh, you know, if you want to watch it, it's going to cost $30 if you want to watch it. So, so yeah, it looks like the event will consist of these other two fighters, Patrice Volin, Volny versus Jenks Trotter, and as well as these other fights right here, Sebastian Bochar versus Mario Perez, Jan Pellerin versus Marco Parente, and a bunch of other fighters. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know who they are. Uh, the, one I, <laughs> the one I'm more focused on is... Oscar Rivas, that's the one I'm more focused on. Oscar Rivas, to those who still don't know who he is, from Colombia, but now living in and representing Quebec, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. 26 and 1, 18 wins coming by way of Nakartikio, coming off a loss against Dillian White. Um, yeah, he hasn't fought since that loss against Dillian White in July of 2019. Uh, Man, he, he had a moment that fight, man. He looked like he was going to pull it off when he dropped Dylan White. But in the end, he ended up losing. And uh, did he test positive? Or no, I think that was Dylan White, right? It was Dylan White who did. Uh, or there was like the whole whole uh, controversy about him testing positive and all that. But anyway, he didn't fight at all in 2020. As we all know, there's something called the coronavirus that probably that affected his schedule. And now here he is, first fight back after that loss against Dylan White fighting in a rematch against somebody who he already defeated silvera luis a uh, fighter from quebec as well eight wins five losses four wins coming by way of nakartikio they fought all the way back in 2012 that was their first fight 2012 that took place in montreal it was the 11th pro fight of uh, oscar rivas and rivas won the fight by split decision so i guess that's the reason why they're doing a rematch um but I'm going to be honest, y'all, man, I have no idea who this Luis guy is. I mean, he hasn't really been that active. He hasn't fought in five years. The last time he was in the ring was in 2016, September 2016, against Denton Daly. And, and yeah, <laughs> he hasn't fought since then. I don't know. I, I, I'm, like, thinking here. I guess, man, they just, they're, I guess they're just desperate for a fight to just keep Oscar Rivas active. I mean, that's what it looks like. It's just a fight to keep him active. To get him a W, to get him, you know, back to winning ways. And I feel like that's what it is. It's just an easy fight, easy win for Oscar Rivas. I mean, there's no need for me to watch Luis because there's no way in hell he's going to win this fight after not fighting in five years. And Oscar Rivas being a top contender in the heavyweight division. I mean, come on. If Rivas loses this fight, Rivas should just retire, man. I mean, he has a twenty, almost a 20-pound weight advantage too. He's fighting a cruiserweight. In Luis, so I mean it, it's it should be interesting. Well, it should be a W for Rebus. Rebus should be able to go out there, get the win, no problem. Get back to winning ways and move on to bigger and better fights. Hopefully, at least that's the hope. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I I guess they just can't find an opponent in Canada, or maybe nobody's allowed to go to Canada, like. I don't know. I, there hasn't really been that many events, boxing events, taking place in Canada during the pandemic. So I don't know what's going on there. So anyway, if you want to watch it again, it's going to cost you thirty dollars on Fight TV. So tune into uh, Fight TV if you want to do watch this event, watch this fight.
So let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Again, it's later tonight. So, I mean, if you're watching this on Tuesday before 7 p.m. Yeah, keep in mind, 7 p.m. Tuesday, March 16th, if you want to watch it. Or st start watching it live. The event starts at uh, 7 p.m. So, anyway. TKO win this time around for Rebus. Not going to distance. TKO and knockout win. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.